tell you. Now, I'll tell you, I'm all right now, but last week I was in rough shape, you know? <laughs> now, last week I told my wife, you need a home improvement loan. She gave me $1,000 to move out. <laughs> now, I'll tell you, my wife, there's always something, you know? Well, the other day I called her up. I said to her, honey, I've been thinking about the last time we had sex. I'm getting excited. She said, who is this? <laughs> I'll tell you, my wife, she never went for me. Well, the first time I called her up, she told me, come on over, there's nobody home. I went over, there was nobody home. <laughs> my wife, she drives me nuts. Well, she was afraid of the dark, she saw me naked, now she's afraid of the light. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, that's all right, that's okay. I'll tell you. No, I'll tell you, actually, I shouldn't tell jokes about my wife. I mean, she's attached to a machine that keeps her alive, the refrigerator. <laughs> And I tell you, my wife, she can't cook either. My house, we pray after we eat. <laughs> I bought a pressure cooker. Now I eat off the ceiling. <laughs> what a lousy cook. I don't think meatloaf should glow in the dark. <laughs> I mean, she can't cook at all. She made chocolate mousse and antler got stuck in my throat. <laughs> I'll tell you, my trouble got the wrong doctor. You know my doctor, Dr. Vinnie Boombox. my doctor? I saw him last week. I told him, Doc, every day I wake up, I look at a mirror, I want to throw up. What's wrong with me? He said, I don't know, but your eyesight is perfect. <laughs> ah, you kid. Now, you kid. I know I'm ugly. I asked a bartender to make me a zombie. Told me God beat him to it. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, you know when you're ugly, all right? Well, Halloween, my wife sends the kids out dressed like me. <laughs> I mean, I'll tell you. I'll tell you the whole story. I'll write the whole story, okay? All right. I mean it. I mean, you know when you're ugly. Well, last Halloween, a kid tried to pull my face off. <laughs> and my kids, they flip a coin and see who has to kiss me goodnight. <laughs> and I was an ugly kid, too. I told my old man, never took me to the zoo. He said, if they want you, they'll come and get you. <laughs> well, that's the story of my life. No respect. I don't get no respect. I was drowning. I was yelling, help, help. And the lifeguard ran over. So they're like, buddy, keep it down. Keep it down. <laughs> yeah, I don't get no respect from anyone. Why, well, I called up suicide prevention. They tried to talk me into it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, well, I'll see you after all that.